Hello YouTube. Well basically um, I'm doing a little lesson today on uh, vibrato. There's two ways I approach vibrato and that's slow and fast. And I did a little example of that here with that little that's what you call slow vib vibrato. And um, yeah you kinda lose the thumb over the uh, neck and uh, have a kind of like a floating kind of system going on there kind of like if you would have a scallop nectar stuff like this and uh, I don't have a scallop neck so I kind of just have a light touch already so just kind of how that kind of thing works and say if I'm in a mad or an angry mood I may have vibrato in like a Zach Wild kind of sense Here's an example of that now. Kind of fast. It's very aggressive and angry and it's real convenient when you're in a bad mood. I use this kind of concept all the time. These kind of concepts are very common. So we're going to do a little lesson on some bluesy kind of vibrato, bluesy licks, hard rock licks, say like something along the lines of this. <laughs> Stuff like that, I mean, it's vibrato and that's how your lines sing. It's what makes everything melodic, it gives a melody, it gives it a voice, you know what I'm saying? So this is what we're going to do. You're going to bend up to the B note right here on the G string. The way to distinguish that it's a B note is because you're bending up one full step from the G string 14th fret like this. And that's the 12th fret here. That's the B string. So that's an easy way to distinguish that that's a B note. So what you're going to do is bend up to a B note on the G string and then hit the B and the E right here so so and then you go back to the B note like this and that's bending up to an E note kinda like a little Hendrixy right there kinda how he would do it little bit of bluesy magic going on there and that's a way that you should approach vibrato because you can hear the two strings like that that's how I do it and the way you're gonna accomplish this is put your thumb over the board like this not I mean not like that or anything anything too dramatic but just whatever feels comfortable and just bend them strings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stuff like that. So what you're going to do is... <laughs> Stuff like that. Just leave the note with nothing left, cut it off. And that's the way I approach vibrato for bluesy kind of things. And for metal things like Zach Wilde or anything, you're gonna shake that string rather fast, sort of like. It's not like a slow vibrato, not a, not a little. It's not the floating vibrato that I do with, with the light touch. This is more of a rough kind of. You want to get aggressive with it. You want to shake that string. You want to... And that's a good exercise to do just by going. Just shaking it super fast. Make sure it's in pitch though. You don't want to bend out of tune. Or else, you know, that doesn't sound good. So, what you're basically going to be doing is just exercise. Even do maybe try exercises like something Guthrie Govan would do. He bends chromatically up sort of like this. Let me give it a little try going. chromatically go up the scale and then you can find your pitches easily that way. That's some 
exercises I used to practice when I was a little younger, I guess. But anyway, vibrato is a very important thing you need to learn because without vibrato, no music. And without no music, well, then life sucks. <laughs> well, that's basically it for today. Catch you on the flip side.